In this video, you're going to learn four of the most underrated supplements that help insulin resistance, especially if you're a type 2 diabetic. Here's what you can expect to learn here. First, we'll cover what is insulin resistance. Then you'll learn about what are the four most effective supplements, including one supplement we'll talk about at the end that lowers your A1C by 1.4% in a matter of a few weeks to a couple months. And stick around at the end and you'll learn what it is. Before we jump in, my next video is actually about the 11 most overrated supplements for diabetes. If you want to learn when I publish it, just click like and subscribe to this channel. So who am I? My name is Igor. I'm the author of the Amazon best selling book called Type 2 Diabetes Reversal Secrets. You actually have a free uh, chapter from that book about 11 diabetes myths that are harming your, he your health in the description below. So check that out. As well, I run an online personal training company that specializes in helping type diabetics reverse their diabetes and improve their insulin resistance. So let's jump in. First of all, before we jump into what are the best supplements for insulin resistance, let's define insulin resistance. So before we define insulin resistance, we actually have to explain what happens in a non-insulin resistant body or an insulin sensitive body. So let's start at the beginning. If you're insulin sensitive, you're not insulin resistant, you eat carbohydrates. When you eat carbohydrates, blood sugar rises. When blood sugar rises, insulin rises. And when insulin rises, blood sugar falls. That's a healthy, normal, desirable response. What happens in a body that is insulin resistant is this. You eat a meal that is rich in carbohydrates. As a result, blood sugar rises. When blood sugar rises, insulin rises. So far as everything is identical. The difference is the last step is that blood sugar doesn't fall, doesn't fall enough, or doesn't fall fast enough. And that's what happens with insulin resistance, which is often a precursor to type 2 diabetes. And the analogy I make is this. Imagine you are at home and somebody is ringing your doorbell, but you don't hear the doorbell. Of course, you're not going to let them in the house. Same thing happens with insulin resistance. Insulin is ringing the doorbell of the cells. That is the muscle cells, the fat cells, the liver cells, and so on. But the cells don't hear the message of insulin. Hence, they don't open their gates and let sugar out of the blood and inside the cell. That's the analogy that I make when it comes to insulin resistance. Hopefully, that's clear. And now, let's talk about the four most underrated supplements when it comes to uh, helping people with insulin resistance. One is aloe vera. Here's one meta analysis titled Reduction of Fasting Blood Glucose and Hemoglobin A1C Using Oral Aloe Vera. And here's what they found. By using aloe vera for between four and 14 weeks, the average reduction was 1.05% uh, in HbA1c, and the, uh, the higher the starting blood sugar, the larger the reductions. In other words, people with an A1c of 9% have larger reductions than people with an A1c of 6.5%. Now, just because it's natural doesn't mean it's without risks. Everything has a risk, including water. Even water has risks. So what happens if you overdose? What happens if you take too much aloe vera? Here are some symptoms of toxicity to watch out for. One of them is a rash. Another one is vomiting. And the third one is diarrhea. And if you get any of those, simply back off on the dosage or remove it altogether. Another supplement that is very effective when it comes to improving insulin resistance is ALA or alpha lipoic acid. Here's one meta analysis titled The Effects of Alpha Lipoic Acid Supplementation on Glucose Control and Lipid Profiles Among Patients with Metabolic Diseases. And here were the results. So, in response to um, a, uh, a you know, a pro prolonged uh, supplementation with alpha lipoic acid, there was a reduction of 1.27% in A1C. Again, there are, it's not without risks. So if you do overdose on alpha lipoic acid, here's what can happen. One symptom of toxicity is heart irregularities. Another one is metabolic acidosis. A third one is skin irritation. And the last one is nausea, okay? A third supplement that is very underrated when it comes to insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes is ginger. In one meta analysis, here's what they found. The, 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 the title is Effects of Ginger on Type 2 Diabetes Mellitus and Components of the Metabolic Syndrome. Bottom line, here are the results. The effect of ginger supplementation after one to three months was a reduction of 1.0% in A1C. This is on par with the best medications out there. Again, this also has certain risks if you overdose, and they are, here are some symptoms, heartburn, diarrhea, 
burping, and for women, more menstrual bleeding than usual. And now the last supplement we're going to talk about, the most underrated and yet also the most powerful is actually milk thistle. Uh, here's one meta-analysis title, the effects of silymarin supplementation on metabolic status and oxidative stress in patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus. Now, if you're wondering, what is silymarin? Silymarin is the active component of milk thistle. Now, why is this one underrated? Well, milk thistle is a very commonly used supplement for liver health and yet it has very, very powerful effects on blood sugar levels as well. Here are the results. In response to supplementation of milk thistle for a period of one and a half to 12 weeks, which is not a very long time, there are reductions of 1.40% in HbA1c. Again, there are also risks to this, and here are some symptoms of toxicity. They are nausea, diarrhea, and that's about it. Overall, it's pretty safe as long as you don't overdose. If you're wondering about all these supplements, what should be the dose that I take? What I do is I would say start with the instructions on the label and then build up from there if that's not enough. There is a method to building uh, to building up to the, to, the, to the right dose and determining the right dose, but that's beyond the scope of this video. So just uh, if you want, check out um, my book on Amazon, a link in the description below. In my next video, um, sorry, not in my next video, um, but one commonly mentioned supplement when it comes to type 2 diabetes as well as insulin resistance is actually berberine. If you're wondering why am I not including this in here, that's because I have an entire 11 and a half minute video on it. So check that out in the description below or just click the, that, that video on your screen. Thank you and goodbye. Please click like and subscribe to my channel.